The views and opinions of this program are those of the hosts, guests, and callers. There is substantial risk of loss in trading futures and options, which you should carefully consider prior to trading. And joining us now, we're going to talk about soybean cyst nematodes, such a yield robber for uh, soybean growers across the country. SCN is something that uh, a lot of folks are contending with and battling with, and we are doing our best to kind of stop the spread and, and mitigate the spread of SCN. And a lot of work is being done by the SCN Coalition, and, and really, really excited to uh, talk about some of that work. And joining us here, pleased to have him with us, Dr. Horatio lopez Nicora. He is soybean pathology and nematology with Ohio State University. Great to have you with us. Hope you're enjoying the Farm Progress Show so far. Yeah, good morning, Jesse. Excellent. Well, let's just start. Um, SCN, as I mentioned, such a yield robber. I just think about the spread of, of SCN in fields across North America, and it's really become an issue for soybean growers, hasn't it? Yeah, uh, and not only that, right? It really, yeah, um, you know, outstand uh, any other soybean disease that we can encounter, and um, such a significant and damaging uh, pathogen. It's an animal, you know, and and inhabits the soil, infects the root system, but this animal that in its genome has like different mechanism of infecting the plant, causing significant yield reduction in most cases with absolutely no visible symptoms. You go to a field, you see SDS, you see white mold, you see frog eye leaf pod, you name it, you see that your plants are sick. Soybean seeds nematode can cause significant yield reduction, yet your beans look healthy. And that, in my opinion, keeps soybean seeds nematode as the most damaging economically uh, pathogen in North America. It's it's amazing to think about how it could be such a yield robber and it's almost an invisible yield robber until it's too late and i talk a lot about you know when i when i have this topic on the program a lot about scouting and things like that but even sometimes when you get out there and scout it's already too late you're right and and that's exactly a conversation we have and and that's the the message we we normally try to send which is you need to proactively manage it. You need to go out there and despite field looking really healthy, you know, uh, collect a soil sample, mm -hmm. test your field, know your numbers. Those numbers will dictate the management strategy you will take. And then just move one step further, know what type of soybean seeds nematode you have. Soybean seeds nematode populations are not all the same. They can Ad, unfortunately, they adapted and, and can reproduce on sources of resistance that we that we now have available uh, in our varieties. So we may be planting a quote unquote resistant soybean variety, but for that population specifically in your field, it may really not be resistant anymore. Yeah, and that's that's the trouble that we have. Talk about the SCN coalition. A, a lot of folks involved with this from various universities across the country and. I know that a lot of the work you guys are doing, of course, is trying to make farmers more aware and provide them with different research and tools and things like that. So let's talk about some of what you do with the coalition and, and why the work that the SCN coalition is doing is important. Yeah, um, thank you for that question. Yeah, as you know, as a soybean pathologist and nematologist at, at Ohio State, I'm very active there, um, securing funding from o Ohio Soybean Council, for example, great supporters, where we can offer uh, SEN testing for growers free of charge. And many other universities are doing that with a check of money. But being part now of, of, of the SEN coalition more, more directly, more involved as a co-leader, um, just allowed that message to be spread more and more widely. And um, one project that we're working right now, which we are very excited about, is expanding the efforts to raise awareness for SEN uh, for soybean cyst nematode in the SEN coalition, but also expanding to um, you know explore other soybean nematodes that can be also causing significant damage uh, to soybean. We have root node nematode, lesion nematode, reniforms that are also spread in other parts of the uh, United States and need attention as well. I know one fun tool 
and an important tool that you guys have online is the profit checker. Correct. And that's something that can really put into perspective for growers the impact of SCN on their operation. That, that's 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 uh, that's correct, Jesse. And and one thing that you know. We do all this work of raising awareness, um, providing tools to how, how to samples, where to send your samples, know your numbers, uh, and then what? What do you do with those numbers? And, and the SEM Coalition just recently launched this SEM Profit Checker. Very easy to access. It's a calculator that you can input the numbers that you got from your results, from your soy, soybean seeds nematode test results, the pH, of your soil that normally we have with a soil test um, in the percentage of sand. And that will give you an estimate of how much yield you may be losing in that field with that level of soybeans is nematode. Um, a really nice tool because it just moves um, you know, us away from those tables of high, low, moderate uh, risk. It mm -hmm. just gives you a potential uh, percentage lost and that just is so significant when when you're trying to deal with this best absolutely if folks want to learn more about the SCN coalition I know they can go online take a look at all the various tools you guys have available and more where can folks get more information yeah definitely that's uh, the, the place to go uh, the SCN coalition website does a great job at connecting with other um, important uh, source of information for SEN management. So that's uh, definitely a place to start. And uh, again, just you can go on Google SEN Coalition to find more information. And of course, I know a lot of the work that you do at Ohio State University, I know uh, folks can find various research work that you do too through the university website and, and, and things like that, can't they? That is correct. Absolutely. Real quick, final thoughts, uh, or I guess anything you want to reiterate to growers in terms of SCN and why they need to take it very seriously. Yeah. Um, so it's clearly the, the most damaging pathogen. It's been, you know, um, reported in, in several uh, research um, articles that you know, you can you can experience more than 30% yield reduction with no visible symptoms. We're talking roughly on average of living in the ground $300 per acre. That's mm -hmm. that's significant. Um, with that in mind, wag your fields. This is a great time to pull those plants and check the roots for the presence of soybean seeds nematode. Um, harvest is coming in a couple of months take the probe, you will take a soil sample to send to the soil lab anyways. That same soil samples can be, um, you know, mixed and, and break apart and sent to the nematology lab for an SEN test. Fantastic. Appreciate the insight, the time, Horatio. Thanks for being with us here at the uh, Farm Progress Show. It's good to talk with you and we'll look forward to talking again in the future. I appreciate it. Thank you. Make sure to subscribe to the Market Talk YouTube channel. You can watch our latest interviews with top market analysts in the country, find bonus content, and much more. It's easy. Just go to youtube.com slash at Market Talk Egg and hit the subscribe button. Or you can search for Market Talk Egg on YouTube.